Hi guys, in this dangerous episode I will show you how to get and tame a plasma ball at home. To make a plasma ball you need to get a high voltage transformer out of microwave oven. I showed how to get it in the previous episode. Also you need a vacuum pump. There is a video how to make it right in my channel. I left a link in the video's description. I will create a plasma ball in a glass bottle. At first I need to drill a hole in the bottom of it. I use an ordinary borer and water cooling to make it. It is a long tricky part. I know there are special bars for glass, but they are too thick. I need a tight hole. <coughs> now I am drilling a hole in the cap of a bottle and hot gluing in a plastic part of a drop counter right in this hole. It must be sealed. Also, I drill a hole beside it and seal there a wire. Electrodes will be made of pencils graphite rod, because it can withstand a very high temperature without melting, and like nails. They can. Second carbon electrode I attach to the thick copper wire with thin copper wire and weld it with cold weld in the bottle's bottom hole. And this coupling must be sealed too. A couple of words about plasma ignition system. Ok, we have a bottle with two carbon electrodes. By means of handmade vacuum pump I will create a low pressure environment inside the bottle. Next step is to create an arc between these electrodes. Fluorescent lamp is using a super duper high voltage spark to ignite a plasma, but I don't have one. So my idea is very simple. I will attach a very thin wire to the first electrode and make it hang freely around second electrode. If I shake a bottle, wire will touch an electrode and will ignite an arc. Arc will start to melt this wire along its way to the first electrode, and when it's over, there will be a huge piece of plasma inside the bottle. Let's make it. Here is a thin wire, I spinning it around the first electrode. Now I put it inside the bottle and you can see its end near the second electrode. Now I'm pumping an air out of the bottle, connecting wires from transformer to electrodes. I want to remind you that this experiment is very dangerous, so please do not try this at home and at the backyard. 3, 2, 1, shake. Whoa! Guys, this is awesome! Oh my gosh, it's a huge piece of plasma just on my table. Oh, 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 I think it's dead. Let's see. There is a smoke inside. I think something plastic burnt out and its smoke have killed the plasma. Is it still a low pressure inside? Check. Yes, ceiling is not broken. Let's try again. Oh man, it's so beautiful. Let's try again but without pumping an air. As I guess, arc is very thin and unstable. The end. I hope you like my video and will watch my other videos. In the next episodes of Gavi Show. High voltage. How dangerous is it? Which cool experiments can be carried out? Subscribe and you'll know.